Hello, and welcome to Section 6 of our course. I hope you're getting familiar with how user experience lessons can be applied to your web design thinking. In the previous section, we started to learn about some interaction and how when applied to some of the concepts of our homepage, it can improve our experiences. In this section, we will be growing our user experience understanding by learning about media. We will relate and define some media and some of the terms, explore good and bad uses of media, and relate it using graphics. In the first video on media types, we're going to explore how to consider and use media during web design. So let's get going. Home pages are essential to a website, and they consist of content that can be images, GIFs, video, copy, social media. For implementing the design process, we need to have a knowledge of media and how and why and when to use it. We start with what is media? Media is an all-encompassing term that refers to a collective communicative mediums used to store and transmit information or data. Media is usually intended to inform or influence an audience. This is from Mashable. Media can come in the form of images, whether they're JPEGs, TIFFs, PNGs, PDFs. They can be videos, .movies, MP4s, H.264, etc. They can be sound files. They can be streaming. They can also be graphics of CSS or WebGL or PNG or fonts or SVGs. And they can be copy which is, you know, whether it's web safe typography or Google fonts or SVG fonts or typecast, etc. All media shows up on a website has some requirements from a web hosting system. For example, if you wanted a video to show up on your homepage in the marquee place, one potential way to deal with this media content could be to upload the video to a YouTube which stores the media. You know, YouTube is owned by Google and they have their own servers and they use their own video processing and viewing process. And this enables the video to be placed onto your homepage. This would allow you to use Google's CDN or content delivery network and their servers transmit that content to your users through, the, through your web page. Servers that transmit the content and use YouTube's media player technology allow the people to watch it. A pro of using YouTube is you can offload the technical hurdles in playback and video buffering. The disadvantage is that views get captured by YouTube and the content is made available on YouTube, which is part of their advertising model. Another way can be that you take the same video and upload it as a source file to your own server and then build or purchase your own media players on your own web page. A pro to this is that you have proprietary rights over your own media and where it is stored and you own the server space. The disadvantage is that it can lead to poor playback. There's potential uh, media overload if the content gets served up to too many users. However, there are other outside you know, competition to other than YouTube, which is like Vimeo or Whistler or others that are coming up. As a sample of something interesting that uses video on the homepage, let's take a look at a couple of websites that use media in a unique way. Toolofnorthamerica.com homepage. The video autoplays and has animation in, of titles. If we go to sagmeisterwelsh.com, navigation is in a space and the video uploads every few seconds, looping in the background. There are many samples of unique uses of media on websites. I recommend you create a catalog of the pages that you come across that inspire you that use media in an interesting way and bookmark them or even use Pinterest or any other story. The web is an always evolving, and as a web designer, you need to keep up and keep your finger on the pulse of how media is being used and experimented with through the web. Videos, images, type, interactive experiences, and feedback loops for your users are all aspects that you need to consider when building and maintaining a great user experience. We are beginning to gain an understanding of how media should be considered. And knowing what is possible is half the challenge when trying to consider a new user experience.